Did you know there are two ways to MIDI learn your faders in Blackout? So let's learn about it. So on my fader page, if I go to link status, connect to device, and MIDI learn, I can begin to learn my faders. This globe icon up at the top, this is our magic button. This is our global versus local mode. If I tap an unassigned fader, and then all I have to do is move the fader I wanna assign it to, and it learns just like that, you'll see at the top it's telling me that it's a global fader. So if I leave MIDI learn now and switch to page two, I still have control. And if I switch back to page one, I still have control. But now let's see what happens when we learn it as a local fader. I'll go back into MIDI learn, and now I'll click the globe to learn it as a local fader. I'll click an empty fader, go ahead and learn it. I love how easy that is. And I'll overwrite it. And you can see that it's actually learning fader one on page one. So now you'll see here, I still have control of this fader, but if I switch to page two, I'm not controlling it anymore. I'm still controlling the fader on page one. So if I bring this to full, when I switch back to page one, you'll see it's at full. Bring it down to zero, it's at zero, and it's not affecting page two. So that's your quick tip of the day. This is super useful for customizing your setup the way that you want, whether you're running a time code show with MIDI or you're just setting up your fader board. Lots of options here in Blackout.